Ah, oh, Sammy. You want to play Battleship one more time? Oh, come on. We've already played it five times. Yeah, it is kind of boring without the internet. Uh-huh. And my favorite blogger is streaming from TB Daba today. Ugh. That's it. Enough melancholy. We're crafters after all. Let's make something spectacular. But we're at a cardboard. Don't you remember? Whoa. Can you make crafts only from cardboard? Hi guys, just look at all this bright beauty. <sighs> Today, we're going to work with one of our favorite materials, perler beads. We have a few videos on our channel about it, so you can check them out. But only after you watch this one till the end. It's gonna be so much fun. Right, Sammy? Since we got bored with all the board games in our house, we decided to make some new ones. Let's get started. Why use the black color? It's a kind of outline for our game. This way we'll know where it begins and where it ends. And you're right, Sammy. Let's add some brightness to it. What's brighter than a rainbow, right? Here comes the orange piece. Come on, Sue, spill it. What game are we making? Well, it's going to be a... No, 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 no. Let's make it interesting. Sherlock Sam will try to guess. And you will help me. Right, guys? <laughs> okay, Grand Detective, let me give you a hint then. This craft has something in common with the crafts that we usually make for our ginger. Except, this one's not for a hamster. <laughs> hmm, maybe if I browse our channel, I'll have a clue. I'll be right back. I wonder why Sam always chooses something else over helping me. <laughs> How's it going with our labyrinth? Ah, oh, you guessed it right. Well done, Sammy. What else did you expect from the greatest slime mind? To be honest, I was hoping that you'll help me with crafting. Say no more, I'm the thinker and the doer. And he's gone again. That's unbelievable, guys. I guess I better use some magic. Whoosh, perfect. Now we need to make sure that our beads will hold together without a plastic base. For that, we need a piece of parchment paper to cover the whole thing like this. Now let's use the iron. But guys, be very careful working with it because it's really hot. We need to iron our beads this way. Under the high temperature, they will stick together. Are you ready to see what we got? This way, carefully, voila, just Perfect. Sorry that took me so long, Sue, but now I'm ready to show you what I've been doing. Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity. Well, what do you say, Sue? <gasps> Sammy, I'm taking my words back. Your help is just great. Guys, check this out. These are the walls for our labyrinth. Yeah, I know, and it wasn't that easy to make them, you know. But you nailed it. And basically, all we've left to do is to glue them to their places. Never rush working with the glue gun, guys. Here we go. Be careful, Sue. That construction's kind of fragile. Oh, phew, that was really close. And the last element. Okay, done. Do we already know who or what will travel through this labyrinth? This might work. Thank you. Okay, guys, are you ready to give our board game a test run? Let's roll. That was really fun. <laughs> but let's move to another very popular board game, tic-tac-toe. Are you kidding me, Sue? What new could you possibly add to that? Well, the game guidelines stay the same as well as the playing field. Up. But we could totally substitute the X's and O's with something more relevant, so to say. Oh, let me take care of the game board, Susie. I'm pretty good at ironing when it comes to doing crafts. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, let's work on the characters for our game. Everybody knows Among Us game, right? So I thought, why don't we make those cute, colorful crewmates from Perler Beads? We'll use a lighter color right here to make the character look more dimensional this way. 
actually, we've already made a couple of crafts slash games based on Among Us. Feel free to check out our channel to see those videos. Hey, Susie, have you decided on, uh, oh! Holy cannoli! Is that a crew member? Did we suddenly switch to another game here? <laughs> no, Sammy. I just thought these little guys will help us playing tic-tac-toe. Check this out. A few touches with a hot iron. Careful touches, of course. Remember that, guys. And we'll get this cute little figurine, if I may say so. Oh, let me show you just one little trick, since only one crewmate won't be enough for the game. Awesome idea. Do you agree, guys? Then give Sue a thumbs up. By the way, Sammy, did you finish with the playing field? Almost. Give me a couple more minutes. Okay, then we have some time to make more characters for our game. Let's get to this. There used to be X's and O's, but now there will be crewmates and imposters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I really like how he came out. Let's make him a couple of buddies using craft magic. Huh? Excellent. Susan, the board is ready. And I'm ready to beat you in this game. We'll see about that, imposter Sam. Don't you even try to threaten me, Susan. What would you say about this? Take that! Oh no, did I lose? How could that happen? I demand a rematch! Take it easy, Sammy. It's not a big deal. Besides, we have one more cool craft to go. Hmm. What was that? Sue, are you gonna make a robot from perler beads? Um, no, but thank you. That's actually a great idea. We should put it into practice sometime. <laughs> But right now, I want to show you how to make your own colorful spinner. But why on earth do you have these nut rings here and a bearing? Ah, these would be the main parts of our fidget toy. The ball bearing will be situated in the center. It actually is the main part of any spinner. And we'll put the nut rings in each of these petals. Let's call them that way. We'll make three of them. Sounds awesome! I can't wait to see the result! And while Sue's working, here are a few fun facts from Professor Samuel. A fidget spinner was considered one of the trending toys in 2017. However, a similar thing was invented back in 1993. It was so popular among children and teenagers that a number of schools even banned spinners from campuses. As for me, there are no bad toys unless they distract you from studying. By the way, we're done with the perler beads part. All we need to do now is to secure the metal parts in it using hot glue. You can ask an adult to help you at this stage, guys. Here we go. Remember to be very careful here, guys. Okay. By the way, we've already made fidget toys. You know where to find those videos, right? Here comes the last part. Done. Check out how it works, Sammy. Cool, right? <laughs> Just like all our crafts today. Let's check them out one more time. I'll beat Susan in this game. <laughs> Sue! Sue! Oh, hey, Sammy, look! The internet's finally back. Shush! I'm busy, Sue. Well, all right. I was just thinking you'd like to check out your favorite blogger. <gasps> That's right! No more social networks detox! See you next time, dear viewers! Oh, I've got so many messages. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, I hope you liked our crafts today. Subscribe to our channel and don't miss our new videos. Bye.